Dr. Penfield, I can smell burnt toast. Is there one design here that the whole committee can agree on that says Canada? No one's gonna read a comic strip about a strong man in tights, Joe. It'll never fly. Fly, no. But he can leap over tall buildings. I never thought I'd know that feeling. To be in love. Because for us, it was a crime. Jimmy Ginn was a pioneer gay rights activist. He was um, a voice in what he called a conspiracy of silence, to basically shroud homosexuality in silence. People didn't want to talk about it. There was a lot of ignorance surrounding it. I think what really drew us to uh, Jim and Jack's story was the amount of time in which um, Jim was actually active as an activist. He um, began writing letters in the 50s. He didn't like the homophobia that he saw in the tabloids and in the media, so he spoke out against it. He wrote letters starting actually in, in 1949, if you can imagine, at that point when this wasn't a welcome conversation. So we took our fight to the Supreme Court. Jim Egan and Jack Nesbitt await a verdict on their fight for spousal rights. Forty years later, him and his partner Jack, near the end of their lives, took their battle to the Supreme Court to fight for spousal rights, but they unfortunately lost. But what came out of their, um, their battle was that homosexuality was protected under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. So I found his story very inspiring, but it was very difficult to choose. There's so many queer narratives in Canada's history um, that are so rich. The Brunswick Four, the Fruit Machine, the um, the bathhouse raids. We feel with the minutes that we try to uncover parts of the past that are important, also sometimes parts of the past that are difficult and challenging, but that really help us understand where we've come from so that we can know where we're going. Now, many young people who grow up knowing that same-sex marriage is legal may not understand the hard battles that were won on the path to that change, and it wasn't always the case. There are activists who stood up and took risks and fought to obtain these rights.